after all, and politicians most of the time like to speak. And um, that's right, today um, I'm going to talk about fishing polaries, but it's a bit too general. Um, I'm going to be a bit more specific, um, and I'm going to talk about the pelagic challenges of the Faroe Islands. The reason I'm doing it is because we have some EU parliamentarians, we have European friends gathered here today, and I want you all and them to understand our situation. I assume that you all have heard the story about that David and Goliath. The story between the Faroe Islands and the EU, EU is quite similar. As I said, today I'm going to talk about our battle with the EU regarding the Norwegian spring spawning in Latin Atlanto Scandian Harry Quota. <coughs> The EU, Iceland, Norway and Russia have recently concluded in 2013 without the participation of the Faroe Islands, their quotas. This is based on historical fisheries and does not reflect the distribution of the stock in the North Atlantic. We want today <coughs> to express our concerns about the incomplete and misleading information by Maria Damanaki, member of the European <coughs> Commission, to the European Parliament as far as the issue of the Atlanto Scandinavian herring is concerned. In describing the process, that led to a non-conclusive coastal state arrangement on the herring for 2013, Commissioner Damanaki indicated to M MAPs that the Faroe Islands <coughs> have left the multilateral discussions or left the table, as she put it. The Faroe Islands, we did not leave the coastal state consultations <coughs> We were, in fact, excluded from discussions when the four other coastal states, including the EU, left the conference room in which the negotiations were being held to continue their discussions. <coughs> Fellow conservatives, ladies and gentlemen, we establish our principles on conservative values, on mutual respect. Do you think that the EU respects our values? Given the obvious changes in the distribution of the herring stock in recent years, and the fact that the relative shares between the coastal states have never been satisfactory the Faroe Islands can no longer accept a sharing arrangement that allocates the Faroe Islands a mere 5% of the total allowable catch. 5%. It might, it might not come as a surprise to you, our fishery minister, Jakob Vestergaard, is a member of the Conservative Party, the People's Party my party. And he establishes his principles on the very foundation of our values. He believes in us, the pharaohs. He believes in our strengths, has faith in our abilities. Just like David went against Goliath, our fisher minister went against the EU because we have been treated unfairly, unequally, without respect. What he has done is very courageous. Before he went against the EU, I asked him, why are you doing this? Do you know the consequences? 
He said to me, very fatherly. Anas, if we do not claim our rights in our own seas, in our own backyard, who is going to do it for us? Norway? Iceland? The EU? Who's going to care about us if we don't care about ourselves? During the last decade, there have been major changes in the distribution of herring in the North Atlantic. The distribution of herring has shifted in a southwesterly direction, as reported by ISIS, leading to an increased proportion of herring feeding in fairies' waters during the summer. Herring is also in the fairies' waters for a longer period than previously observed. Prolonged fishery in the fairy zone has been reported for several years and for, and for the last three years herring has been fished in the fairies waters from May to late November. The abundance of herring in the fairies waters has made fishing for pelagic species increasingly difficult due to unavoidable bycatches of herring, now referred to, to macro fishing. Survey <coughs> and fisher data clearly indicate that the summer distribution and duration of herring abundance in fairies waters is much higher than seen in neighboring countries. However, the 5% share of the herring stock is significantly smaller than any other coastal state. The desire of the Faroe Islands to re renegotiate the allocation of the stock has been made clear to the other parties since October 2011 and was most recently reiterated at the Coastal States negotiations in October and December of 2012 and again in London on the January 23rd of 2013. The Fair Islands <coughs> therefore deeply regret that the other coastal states have not been willing to consider the Far East position or rather have chosen to exclude the Faroe Islands from an arrangement for 2013. The time has come to adapt joint herring management to better reflect the realities of the fisheries and legitimize the rights of all coastal states, thus providing a more equitable uh, location between all the parties to ensure the long-term sustainability of the herring in the North Atlantic. It is our joint responsibility to ensure a fully agreed arrangement between all coastal states for the management of this valuable shared fisheries resource. The pelagic fish stocks shared by coastal states in the North Atlantic are the foundation for fisheries that have vital importance for the fisheries sectors and many fishing communities in the region. For the Faroe Islands, <coughs> pelagic <coughs> and ground fish fisheries are the very basis of our economy, much more so than in any other North Atlantic fishing nation. Our challenge as responsible fisheries managers is to recognize 
the obvious changes that have taken place in the marine ecosystems in the North Atlantic region by modernizing and adapting our joint management to better fit the realities of and requirements for sustainable <coughs> fisheries. The Faroe Islands, we urge our partners in the region to engage with us in a meaningful and forward-looking discussion on how we can best address these challenges and find sustainable solutions for the future of our long-standing cooperation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hans. Um, I think this